What's happening guys? It's Greg. And today's Saturday, June, maybe 10th, maybe 11th, I really don't know. And that's okay because it's Saturday and I'm floating today. When I say floating, it means I don't really have a schedule. I'm doing things as they come. And when I talk about, oh, you, you know what? I was having this conversation the other day. What does vacation mean to you? Vacation to me is something that recharges me. A lot of the times when I travel, I come back and I need like two or three days to get back up to speed. So the typical, what you might see on television or the norm of a vacation isn't really a vacation for me specifically. Days like this are a vacation. I feel like when I'm done with them, I'm ready to go, my mind's recharged, and it's time to get after it. So I'm gonna consider you all to ask yourself what a vacation means to you. Define it. This video is sponsored by the Ace of Hearts. The Ace of Hearts, holy smokes, there's the focus. Yeah, shout out to Philip Kelly, AKA Mr. Phil on Instagram, M-I-S-T-E-R, Phil on Instagram. If you guys are looking to, well, I don't even know how else to say this. If you're looking to find a girl and you find yourself struggling, well, Give my man Mr. Phil a call because he's got uh, about 20 years of experience in the game and uh, he's well versed. He's studied the best of the best. He's worked with the best of the best and he's got a success rate, a high success rate. So give him a call uh, 877-618-ACES. Fun fact, I learned that ACES means the best. I don't know in what language or, or what, but that's what it means. So check him out, Mr. Phil on Instagram, Phil Kelly. Uh, if you got more questions about how to, just just give me a shout. That's what I'm getting at. Cool. So, got the fresh haircut today. Gym head. Gym head. Um, what else? Oh, snap. You know how this goes when you're like, oh, I'm going to talk about a whole bunch of stuff. And then, oh, I can't remember what. Bruh. <laughs> Had some tough business conversations this past week. Tough and necessary. It brings me to a, a book that I should probably add to the reading list. The Hard Thing About Hard Things. Uh mutual friend told me about that book. Have you read that? If you have, drop a comment below what it is, what the moral of the story is. Uh, I can guess, but I really don't know. Right now I'm reading The Lifestyle Investor. Not The Investor Lifestyle. That's what the author says in the book. He's like, notice how the title of the book is not The Investor Lifestyle. It's called The Lifestyle Investor. This guy is onto something. Uh, he's touted to be right up there with Warren Buffett, but he's like a super... He seems like a much more accessible guy, a quote unquote normal guy. Uh, you can be one of his clients if you like. Of course, you got to have some money, perhaps. I actually don't know his criteria, but check him out. I know he's got a lot of workbooks online. It's a great place to get started. I think everybody on the planet, everybody should learn about investing. Look, I'm a real estate expert and I know about real estate investing. Mostly two types, short-term rentals and long-term rentals slash multifamily. There's a lot of ways you can invest in real estate. You can just buy a piece of land and hold it for 10 years and all of a sudden it's worth a lot more. You can get into commercial investing. And when you do that, there's a ton of ways to make money on commercial specifically because there's like 50 different subtypes of commercial properties. What kind of tenants do you want to have in there? What kind of properties do you want to own? Do you want to own restaurant buildings? Do you want to own manufacturing plants? Do you want to own businesses? Ooh, ooh, well, let's talk about businesses real quick, guys. How do you value a business? How do you spot undervalued businesses? Don't ask me. I don't know. I don't know how. And I think that the school system did us all a disservice by not teaching us how to uh, invest properly. They did us a disservice when it talks about credit, how to build your credit, come up with action plans, step-by-step -step guides, how to invest money in real estate, paper assets, or uh, businesses. So what I'm saying is choose one avenue to start. Come up with a financial model. What does a model look like? I'll give an example. Uh, shout out to, to Nico for, for creating the infographic on this. We have one on file if you want to copy. Basically, it's a picture of where you start and where you finish with your money. Let's say, for example, you get your income. 50K, 100K, 120K, 500K, whatever it is a year. Well, what you're gonna do is number one, pay off any bad debts that you have. Pay off all your bad debts first because they have an interest rate that is um, gonna eat into your funds. It's no good, it's negative. Negative energy, negative debt, get rid of it. 
Step two, get six months of your burn rate accumulated. Six months of your burn rate. What's your burn rate? Your burn rate is how much you spend every month on average. You spend 20 grand a month, 10 grand a month. If you spend 10 grand a month, you get 60 grand saved up cash, liquid cash, which means just money in your bank account. Then what do you do from there? You add up your war chest. Some might call it a war chest. Some might call it stash fund. And then you're going to set a, a minimum before you deploy the war chest, before you deploy your stash fund, set up a minimum standard. For Grant Cardone, he said a million dollars. He's like, I'm not going to spend any money until I have a million bucks in my bank account, in my, in my stash fund. Another guy, Jason Abrams, a realtor in the office. He's like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to deploy any cash until I've got 250 grand. And then once you get your money up, what are you going to invest in? You got to focus on this. Focus, focus, focus and learn and study the markets. Take any additional time you have in studying. If you want to do short-term rentals, Read as many books as you can. Get connected in forums. Find a mentor. Do all of the things. Do all, get all the pillars checked off. All the boxes checked off. Pillars filled, whatever you, want, whatever you want to say. That way, you ready for this? I hope you're taking notes. That way, as soon as the opportunity arises where that investment pops up, you're going to know it. And you're not going to have a question in your mind that that's the one for you. You're going to do your due diligence and you're going to swipe the card, so to speak. You're going to deploy your cash. And then what happens? That money you deploy is going to make you more money. It's going to make you more money. So you just took 500K, 250K, whatever your stash fund is, and you turned it into more. Now, before you dump it back into your war chest, before you do that, make sure you cut some off the top and put it in a bank account that you never touch until it's time to pay Uncle Sam. You got to pay Uncle Sam. He wants his money. He's going to knock on your door collecting. Okay. Some are very conservative with this and they put away 40%. Some do 30%. It all depends. Talk to your tax advisor. I know I just went off on a tangent. I hope this was helpful for anybody looking to get in the investing space. Come up with a financial model that works for you. A, a, a coach told me this one time. You ready for this quote? Don't be afraid to systematize your income because it's a very important part of your life. Don't be afraid to systematize your income or he might've said finances. Don't be afraid to systematize your finances. Life updates. I think I'm going to sign up to be a coach with Keller Williams Realty. It's time. I think I got what it takes. I think it's time to change people's lives more than, more than the people on my team. It's time to change people's lives that I haven't met yet and make an extra income doing so. I'm qualified. I know I got the skills. I sold 64 houses in 2024 or what, 64 houses, 2024. No, no, no. 64 houses in 2021. Sold over 250 houses by myself in total. Um, yeah, time to help some people achieve their dreams. Side note, if you're considering getting into real estate, guys, if you have any inkling whatsoever, don't hesitate to drop me a, a comment. Send me a, a direct message. Send me a text message. Whatever. Get a hold of me. I'll find time. We'll make time. Weekends, evenings. Let's chat. We'll hop on a Zoom call. We'll talk about your goals. See how we can help you. Always happy to help. And that's what it's all about. Let's go have some fun. It's Saturday. Let's go. Bye. We're over here at Easy Tiger Bakery again. There's my pal Justin. Just pulled up. About to grab some snacks over here. This cool spot. It's got one of the best views in town. Look at that. Got some nice bread. And some jam and some butter. Let's try it out. You take a little bit of the bread. They call this the Austin baguette. I don't know why. It doesn't really remind me of Austin. It's thick. Bread's got a thick bottom. Dip it in the butter. Dip it in the jam. Ooh. It's looking good. Let's try it. It's a winning formula. Mm. I'll take two. Mm. Yeah, what's up, folks? This is Justin. He's a natural on camera. We didn't know I was vlogging today. How's it going? It's going great. You fired up? Yeah. 
Ready for some bread? Sure. <laughs> I need some carbs. Yeah, get those carbs. Let's go.